it's great to see you all. Thank you. I just pray Holy Spirit will really just anoint what I have to say, that it will open, you will open ears and hearts to take in what the scriptures say. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to start just a little bit about, about me and then um, carry on with it. So, I was healed of systemic lupus erythematosus um, and nephrotic syndrome 13 years ago. Um, for many years, I was embarrassed to talk about what, what God had done in the name of Jesus for me. I was frightened uh, that people would think I was boastful of being healed, which is not true. God wants us all to be healed. Mm. Also, I was frightened that people who hadn't been healed would be offended. Then the Scottish granddaughter of a friend of um, Sue and Cameron Lee um, was diagnosed with systemic lupus at 24. And I really believed for her healing. And she deteriorated and she died at 24. And I thought that could have been me at 30. And this has made me rejoice and thank God publicly, regularly. Fear of man stops us doing what God wants us to do. Pleasing him is the only way that matters. Mm -hmm. right, what I share tonight is what I've read, heard, spoken, understood from the Bible and commentaries, um, preachers, books, and what Holy Spirit has revealed to me. It's my heart. Good. So I have no intention mm -hmm. of offending anybody, but it's my heart. Our identity is in Christ. It doesn't matter what the world says, and we need to know that our identity is in Christ and Him alone. Yeah. The world comes in and says, oh, you're no good, or whatever, but it's not true, it's a lie. Amen. Okay, 2 Corinthians 5.17, I think that's... that's mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you, Ali. Thanks. Um, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old mm. things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Yes. This is the word of what God says who we are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then John 17, 23. It's me. Mm -hmm. um. I in them and thou in me, that they may be made perfect in one, and that the world may know that thou hast sent me and hast loved them as thou hast loved me. Okay, John, Colossians 1.28. Colossians 1.28. Sorry. It's okay. I thought it was a different one. <laughs> oh, have I given you the wrong one? I thought you, yes, I just thought it was, yes. Well, do you want me to read that one? You stay where you are. Okay. Colossians 1.28. Him we preach, warning every man and teaching every man in all wisdom, that we may present every man perfect in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. That's who we are. Mm -hmm. you know, he, when, when we give our lives to Christ, that's who we are. Mm -hmm. Whatever we've done before is gone. Mm -hmm. We don't need to hang around there. Mm -hmm. Christ did it all on the cross. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, John. 2 Corinthians 3.18. 3.18. No, oh, hang on. Well, uh, never mind. Don't worry. Don't worry. Go um, on, Glenn. And <laughs> we who with unveiled faces all reflect the Lord reflect the Lord's glory are being transformed into his likeness yeah. with ever increasing glory which comes from the Lord who is the spirit mm. Mm. Amen. wonderful Amen. and he's just a small thing of who he says we are yeah, that's right. and we need to yeah. learn to walk into I'm just as guilty as anybody else you know it's day by day it's just remember being Holy Spirit reminding us of who we are yeah. Yeah. now this verse has always challenged me I think Christine's got it. John 14. Mm -hmm. Yeah? And it's John 15 you gave me, so do I? Oh, well, it's all going, it's all going pear shaped. Never mind. John 15. John 14, 12 to 14. Most assuredly, I say to you, he who believes in me, that works, the works that I do, he will do also. And greater works than these he will do, because I go to my Father. He's talking about us. Yeah. This is us. And whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, and that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. Just ask, and it's done. doesn't matter how big or little, just ask. God's word is truth. 
How amazing the gift of salvation is through the blood, death, resurrection and ascension of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Healing is just as much a part of Christ's atonement as salvation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Saved is used 101 times in the New Testament, from Matthew to Revelation. Mm -hmm. In Greek, it's sozo. Yeah. Strong's Concordance, mm -hmm. number 4982, describes sozo as to save, deliver, protect, literally and figuratively, yeah. heal, preserve, save yourself, mm -hmm. do well and be made whole. And then I found another one in Thayer's Greek mm -hmm. lexicon. Rescue from danger or destruction or disease. Mm. Fabulous. Mm. Well, heal, restore to health, mm. and much more. When we re receive salvation, sozo, we need to know it's so much more than just salvation. Salvation is amazing, but he did it all for us. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus did it all on the cross. Has anyone got John 19, 30? No, I've got enough. Don't worry. So when he'd received the sour wine, he said, it is finished. Yep. And bowing his head, he gave up his spirit. Mm. Finished. The, the verb mm. tense in Greek indicates that the work of redemption was completed once and for all, yeah. and the results are abiding continuously, mm. all the time. It's not just for then, it's all the time. Mm. Jesus did it all on the cross. Have we John 15, 7 and 8? Yeah, oh. no. Oh, excellent, Christine. Right. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, mm -hmm. then you will ask for anything you wish yeah. and you shall have it. Mm -hmm. My Father's glory is shown by your bearing much fruit mm -hmm. and in this way you become my disciples. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. God promised divine healing. It's a supernatural law. Mm -hmm. It was all done at the cross. Mm -hmm. Everything we could ever need was accomplished there. Whatever we need, it doesn't matter whether it's healing or whatever we need in our, in our lives, it was done. On the cross, Father God caused Jesus to bear all our sins and all our sickness and disease, equally our sins and diseases. A great percentage of Jesus' ministry was healing and deliverance. If it was so important to Jesus, it should be important to us, either for us to lay hands on ourselves mm -hmm. because we have that authority mm -hmm. or on others. Mm -hmm. I was told I had systemic lupus erythematosa in 1977 and in 1985 after the birth of our second son I was diagnosed with nephrotic syndrome which is the kidneys just don't function mm -hmm. and I was put on great amounts of steroids then chemotherapy blood pressure tablets, antidepressants, water tablets, and all the other stuff that they give you for side effects. Mm -hmm. My husband was told that I probably wouldn't live another year. Not the best news with a 20-month toddler and a three-month-old baby. Mm -hmm. I am so blessed in a lot of ways that I was too ill and too exhausted to actually receive what was spoken over me. I had been saved about two years when I received a word of knowledge that somebody with lupus had been healed. All I knew that was, that was before was that I was saved. I didn't know about a word of knowledge, but I knew, knew it was for me without any doubt. I claimed it for me, praised and thanked God that I was healed. Nothing actually changed that I saw mm. or noticed in that moment, but I was knew, knew I was healed from that moment yeah. on. Yeah. His word had gone in and it had settled yeah. in me. Yeah. And I, yeah. even now, I, I know that it will never be taken from me. Yeah. It will not. It's yeah. there. He's given that to me. Um, I very slowly came off all my meds over two to three months, and I'd been on these meds for 20 years. And I'm not saying that anybody else should do that. Uh, you should go to your doctor for advice on that, but that's, that's the way that I did it. I was awarded disabled living allowance for life, because the world believed it was for life. Once I'd stopped the tablets, I felt God prompting me to step out in faith and stop this DLA. I rang the Department of Health and Social Security and said that I had no need for this DLA as I was healed and that God had healed me. So you can imagine. <laughs> and that's, yes, yes. She wasn't, she just couldn't understand it. The lady thought I was very odd and she hadn't had anyone do this. 
and after a lot of persuasion it was sorted and I received my last payment. It was very scary as this money was paid for most of my mortgage, but DHSS is not my provider, my father is. Yeah. 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 I know God heals. I know he wants to heal. Yeah. I know that God does not give us illnesses. Amen. It is a lie. Illness yeah. does not give God glory, yeah. or he would get more glory if we were more ill. Yeah. <laughs> Parents do not want their children to be sick, and our Father in Heaven loves us far more than we can, yeah. we can, uh, than we can love, and, but far more than we can, and does not want us sick. Jesus wanted to heal all, and he did except in Nazareth, his own town. They didn't believe this small town boy was who he said he was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Matthew thirteen fifty eight. Matthew thirteen fifty eight. Now he did not do many mighty works there because of their unbelief. Mm -hmm. Seventeen times in the gospel Jesus healed them all. Matthew four, twenty three and twenty four. And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing all kinds of sickness and all kinds of diseases among the people. Then his fame went throughout all Syria, and they brought to him all sick people who were afflicted with various diseases and torments, and those who were demon-possessed, epileptics and paralytics, and he healed them. Matthew 12, 1. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know if this is the correct one when Jesus eats a car. Well, I've got it as, um, yeah, it's the end yeah. bit of it. It's, isn't That's, it verse 1? Uh, Great multitudes, and he healed them all. Matthew 12, verse 1. Repeat, you read it, what it, read what it at is. That, at that time, Jesus went on the Sabbath day through the calm, and his disciples were hungry. And he began to pluck the ears of the corn and eat. No, that wasn't the one I... It's me making a mistake. No, what I've it. got is when Jesus knew it, he withdrew from there. And great multitudes followed him. And he healed them all. Mm. Sorry, Brian. Yeah, no, Forty-seven sorry. times Jesus healed one or two at a time. Peter's mother-in-law was one of them. Yes. Our healing can be blocked by our lifestyle choices. What we eat... I love crisps, all the stuff that I shouldn't do, such as salt, which I sort of certainly shouldn't be, what we drink, or doing things that we shouldn't be doing, sin. Yeah. Unforgiveness, unforgiveness is a big one, blocks to healing. Mm -hmm. And, you know, sometimes we just need Holy Spirit to drop in mm -hmm. these children from school that have hurt us in the past and we haven't actually let it go. Uh, environmental issues, or by having fear, stress, and anxiety, and that sort of dovetails in with Sunday, John. Yeah. Um, this is not exhausted by any means. Even the medics are catching up with the Bible. Mm -hmm. Anger, people who have anger problems tend to have heart problems or heart attacks, mm -hmm. and the medics are starting to realise that this is how it's going. They're starting to think about how we're behaving and what it's doing to us. The roots for lupus, which I didn't even know because I didn't even think that I, about healing at all. The roots for lupus were self-hatred, self-bitterness and guilt. And it's the same for many autoimmune diseases. I didn't know this before I was healed. and I, It was when I got interested in healing that I read about it. But I was at that place. It's time for us all to get angry with illness and disease. Mm -hmm. It is not of God. Mm -hmm. Curse cancer and disease. Don't put up with it. Mm -hmm. God's word, word says he wants us whole, not just healed, body, soul and spirit. Mm -hmm. Deal with the problem before our Father in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. and, through, oops, and through his blood. Don't get pulled back into illness by other people's words. Mm. People said to me, because I was healed, that I couldn't have had the illness in the first place. And yet they were the ones who knew that I was so ill in hospital for all those years, and they'd gone with it through me. Mm. And it hurt, but I didn't receive what they said. Mm. But it's hard sometimes, and it could be family. Mm. Yes. Walk in your healing. Mm. Have others behind, beside you who believe that God heals. Mm. You may have to avoid doubters for a while. Yeah. You just don't need them when you're going through these problems. Yeah. Don't get into the mites, 
maybes, could, ifs or buts. Don't negate your healing. And what I mean by that is, thank God that he's healed you and then tell somebody what disease you have. Mm. Sort of mm. two ends, isn't it? Mm. And it's, you know, everyone wants to know how you are. Mm. So we tend to give our <laughs> list. <laughs> and don't let negative diagnosis settle on you. Mm. It's just what the world says. Yeah. It's what the world says. It's not what God's word says. He wants us whole. Mm. Rebuke it, stand against it, and remember God's word. Speak healing scriptures over yourself. Praise and thank God for all he's doing for your wholeness and healing. Keep your healing. It's yours. Mm. It's for you to keep. I was listening to the head of a Christian cancer hospital in the US a couple of weeks ago. And research has shown that getting angry for just one minute a day will cause your immune system to plummet in six hours. But if you laugh for one minute, it'll boost your immune system for 24 hours. <laughs> Laughter is the best medicine. Yes. Yes. Who's, got, who's got the Proverbs? Me, me. Proverbs 17, 17 22. Yeah. A merry heart does good like medicine, but a broken spirit dries the bones. God's word works. Amen. Thank you very much for listening. Amen.